Just loading up the picture, just give us a sec. I always work from an image as well. Uh, unless I'm just doing a, a race livery, uh, I, I always work from the, an image. That way you can make sure that the shading uh, and the light is really accurate to the way it's supposed to be. So, uh, I'm doing Venom's head and he's side on. So this would be basically just above his eye. Right? So you then press, once you've got it in approximately the shape that you want it to be, you then press Y and that would stamp it there. And then you would continue on with the next shape. And this is going to build down towards where his mouth would be. You'll notice a bit later on that his head is split into two sections almost. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now, what I'm doing now is just a top section. You'll, you'll understand shortly. Right, that's that there. Right, so uh, now we continue on up the head. Sounds really rude. Can you guys hear me alright? Someone s say something. Well, because this is um, a, a character rather than a person, uh, you can be a little more loose with your line, uh, your outline. Uh, so that's why it's not quite as tidy as it possibly could be. Plus, I'm trying to do this bit quickly so I can uh, move on to the next bit. Cheers, thanks, Green Sparks. His head actually moves up a bit more. Hi. Right, so this would be uh, towards the back of his head. And again, what I'm doing is I'm just manipulating the shape to try and make it uh, piece together an outline, which I can then later fill in. So That would be that. And then you've got a whole line. I'm just going to highlight that and copy that, put that there, that you can then group into one piece and then you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need for it and it's also easy to manage going through groups like this rather than going through hundreds of layers trying to find the one you want so what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm going to do what is essentially his top lip If anybody's got any questions, feel free to post them. I'll, I'll answer them and do my best to answer them. This is the first time I've really done something properly like this, so you have to forgive me if I seem a bit inexperienced. So he's, the line of his jaw runs quite high up into the into his head. But again, what I'm doing now is just to give you the basic idea. Pretty soon I'll move on to the next stage. 
which is filling it in uh, with colour and that way you've got a custom shape in the colour that you want that you can then put details on. Curves up like this bit. <laughs> do you, do you guys need me to do his bottom jaw just to show you the illustrate the picture a bit better, or do you want me to move on to the next bit? This is just the top of his neck here. So where he is on the car, the wheel arch would be approximately here. Like that. Right, I'm just going to move on to the next bit though. So uh, unless anybody's got any questions about this, what we've done so far, which I isn't very much, but uh, I'll move on. You try and keep it as as tight as you can, so that you you tend not to miss bits. You actually get more issues missing bits in the next stage because uh, once you the line like that is pretty easy to do, uh, and even if you do miss a bit, you can just uh, select the lines you've missed. For example, so I've ungrouped that and say this line here uh, doesn't fit with the line of the neck then you can just move it until it fits with uh, what you need uh, when you come to filling it in you tend to no matter how careful you are you've always leave gaps in places and uh, you'll see that in the next stage and I'll help you with that as well right so we'll get rid of that we'll load the first layer group I've got which is that that's what you should end up with once um, finish with your rough outline right um, I made a couple of these the other day just to try and save some time today so all he's he's missing quite a lot but I've got the rough outline there what I would do now is fill in his eye which again would take some time there and so there's his eye as well now, because I'm doing a cartoon character, a comic character, um, again, accuracy isn't uh, as important here. You can there's artistic license. You can, his eye doesn't look exactly like that in the page in the picture. But because it's my interpretation of Venom.